In this video, we'll be exploring how OSINT isn't just about spying on your friend's Facebook profile, but it's about harnessing the power of publicly available information to outsmart cyber criminals and keep the internet safe for cat videos and gaming. But let's be real, you're probably just going to spy on someone that's been trying to hack you online. So first up, we've got GitHub Dorks. GitHub is the treasure trove for open source goodness. It hosts millions of repositories brimming with code, documentation and config files. It's basically like a digital attic where developers stash their coding treasures, obviously hoping that nobody f accidentally finds their password.txt file, but you probably will. Anyway, these repositories are often openly accessible to anyone with an internet connection, making GitHub a rich source of open data for OSINT purposes. So now looking specifically at GitHub Dork. GitHub Dork search tool is a Python based utility designed to scour repositories for sensitive information using predefined search queries known as dorks. These dorks are meticulously crafted to pinpoint common pitfalls, such as exposed private keys, credentials and authentication tokens all of which could pose a significant risk if left unchecked. Collection of GitHub dorks can reveal sensitive information and personal organizational information, like I said, about private keys and credentials. Installation of the GitHub dork search tool is pretty much straightforward, requiring only the setup of github3.py to facilitate communication with the GitHub search API. And once you've installed it, the tool empowers users to automate the search process, scanning repositories, and with precision and efficiency to identify potential security weaknesses. OSINT researchers can use GitHub Dork search tool to conduct targeted reconnaissance on specific entities, such as companies, government agencies, or even individuals. By searching through all of these repositories associated with a particular organization or even user, you can uncover valuable information about things like their technology stack, their software development practices, potential areas of interest. The tool also enables you to map the digital footprints of organizations and individuals by identifying repositories associated with them. So that can provide insights into software projects, partnerships and affiliations. So overall you can see it's helping you build a comprehensive profile for investigation purposes. You can find out a lot of information just by looking at the wide range of repositories available for an individual or an organization. The next tool we then have is a tool for Instagram. And no, Instagram just isn't about scrolling through endless streams of food and gaming content. It's actually really useful for open source intelligence. It has millions of user generated content, including photos, videos, stories, and captions. All of this obviously provides valuable insights into individuals' lifestyles, interests, and activities. So forget about FOMO and embrace the power of FOMI fear of missing intelligence, because while your friends are busy sharing their food, you'll be mining Instagram for valuable insights into people's lives, interests and connections. Anyway, this tool that we're talking about today allows you to extract information from Instagram's accounts such as emails, phone numbers and many many more. Identification and verification. So OSINT analysts can use this tool to identify and verify individuals or entities associated with specific Instagram accounts by extracting email addresses and phone numbers linked to these accounts. You can corroborate identities and establish connections between an online persona and a real world identity. The tool itself enables you to proactively identify social engineering attacks and phishing campaigns originating specifically from Instagram because you can extract the contact details that are linked to these suspicious accounts and organizations and you can also enhance the security controls by educating others on the potential risks of these malicious campaigns. Obviously, if you're aware of a phishing threat from a specific Instagram account, you can report that. And obviously, Instagram will also investigate and look to take that down if it's not something that they want on their platform. Next up, we have a tool for LinkedIn. And if you're not familiar with LinkedIn already, it's where professionals gather to network, connect and, well, endorse each other for skills that they barely remember or have. It's also the largest professional networking platform with millions of users representing various industries, roles and organizations. So basically lots of information available that you can leverage to identify individuals or companies. The tool itself, which has an impossible name to pronounce, allows you to retrieve information on LinkedIn profiles and also companies. You can use this tool to conduct individual profiling 
where you can gather detailed information from a LinkedIn profile, so things like professional background, skills, experiences and connections, and this information can then be used to build a comprehensive profile of those individuals where you can assess everything that they've undertook in their LinkedIn profile life. And you can also uncover potential affiliations or associations. This tool I think is mostly important for something like red teaming or penetration testing where you're trying to get more information on a user or organization and see what they're affiliated with. If you found these tools useful or you're using them in any way, do let me know and leave a like on the video, it massively helps it out. And do join our Discord where we have a community of nearly a thousand people where we're always talking about cybersecurity and OSINT tools.